Audio Kite. Audio Kite is market research for music creators. Now, to simplify what they do, basically, they play your music for a bunch of strangers who give you honest feedback, which, if you've ever watched Showtime at the Apollo back in the days, or if you watched those uh, American Idol auditions where everybody sounding terrible, you know cannot be undervalued. Now, aside from that, I mean, first impressions are lasting, right? And when you send a song to bloggers, radio stations, uh, even when you float it out there on social media, people aren't going to listen to your whole mixtape or your whole album to find the one song they love. You know, they'll probably maybe listen to like a couple songs and listen to like 30 seconds of a couple songs. And if nothing grabbed them, you know, you'll lose them for, 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 for forever, a lot of times, you know. So it's like finding the one song that you can float out there to hook everybody is very important, you know. And in addition to that, you know, also trying to find the group of people who are going to be most responsive to your music, you know, who like your music. So you know who to market your music to. And that's where something like Audio Kite comes in and tries to be a solution. Now, the way it works is you have to choose a package. And they have all these different packages, garage, coffee shop, showcase, label, arena, you know. And what the packages basically determine is how many people are going to listen to the song, whether it's going to be targeted to a specific genre or not, and the minimum amount of time that you want to require somebody to listen to the song. Like for the most part, you know, the lower tier plans require people to listen for 40 seconds, you know. And the higher tier plans require people to listen for two minutes, you know. And the lowest plan doesn't allow you to genre target. And everything else after that lowest plan allows you to target to specific genres. Which you want to do because you want to make sure that the people who are in your specific genre like your music, you know. Now, they put some of the reports public you know some of the reports that people have gotten on here you know are public so we're going to check out one right now from bitter sweetheart called the sea the sea now you look at this report and you see okay well they give you a general rating which is basically it's a, a rating from a scale on a scale of one to ten you know how people feel about the song overall you know and they give you a rating of commercial viability whether they feel like the song can be make it the radio you know or something like that and people give their responses like they tell you what they have to say about the song like this song in particular a lot of people were complaining about the vocals and how the music was drowning out the vocals and they couldn't hear the girls vocals and all of this other stuff you know like that was a big issue so it's like this guy can take that information and know next time he records something you know to watch the levels for the instrumental you know and now with the commercial to get back to the commercial viability thing, you see they ask they ask the listeners questions like how likely would you be to purchase a stream this song after hearing it? And people, you know, they 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 tell you how people voted. You know, 45 people voted not likely. Uh, uh, 38 people voted somewhat likely. You know, and 17 people voted very likely. Now the thing with somewhat likely is basically somewhat likely means not likely you know because with certain things man you know if people aren't excited about it and enthused and enthusiastic about it they're not gonna do it it's kind of like like begging a girl for her phone number you know what i'm saying you get a number she's not she might give you a number to shut you up but she's not gonna answer when you call you know and if she does answer and she finds out it's you it's gonna be like yeah one word answers what you doing chilling <laughs> you know give you you be like hey can we can we go out like i'm washing my hair something like that you know so it's like you know you don't really want some what you know you want very likely that's what you want you know so it's like how likely would you be to seek out more of this artist songs after hearing this one you know you don't want to hear uh, somewhat likely with that you know they ask them whether they're they'll recommend it to a friend you know, if somebody says somewhat likely, that means no. 
you know how likely would you be to attend a live show somewhat likely that means no you know sync licensing you know they 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 show you what movie genres they feel like they could hear your song being played in you know or licensed to you know like this guy for the most part people saw his music being in a drama or a romance film you know but at the end of the day most people couldn't see his music being placed you know 50 people said somewhat likely which again like i said means no i can't really see it being placed like yeah that's what that means eh. you know they have song elements where people rate you know certain uh different aspects of the song like the vocal performance the instrumental performance the lyrics the beat the song structure the sound quality you know the song and band name even you know they have listener sentiment like how did it make the the listener feel what did they think about when they heard the song like overwhelmingly most people felt mellow when they heard this song you know a lot of people felt thoughtful intrigued relaxed you know as the the, the, the the groups of people dwindle, that means that not a lot of people felt that way, but some people did, you know? And then they give you demographics, like they tell you, you know, the age demographic of people that responded to the song and how they responded. Like you see, you know, men, on average, men rated the song higher than women did, you know? And it tells him who, the people who re responded or the age demographic of the people who responded best you know 55 to 64 year olds rated the song an eight you know on average now it tells you the listener retention like how long the listeners spent listening to the song you know because they required them to listen for a, mi a minimum of 40 seconds but on average the people who listen to the song listen for a minute and 29 seconds now this information you can take you know and you can move forward with this like you can use it to get better you can use it to target your music to specific age groups and you know genders and things like that so you can use it in regards of marketing you know you can use it to find a single or to find that song that you can introduce yourself to that you can use to introduce yourself to bloggers and radio stations and things of that nature you know on on our web on my website right payusnomind.info we're giving away two free reports so you can enter or enter a raffle to for your opportunity or your chance to get a free report from audio kite you know you can click the eye that you see in the corner or go to the description box and click the link in the description box you know to go to the website to enter the raffle to get a free audio kite report I also have a discount code for my viewers so if you plan on going and getting an audio kite report you can go to the description box again you can click the link to go check out audio kite and once you're there you can you can type in the promo code AK dash no mind that's AK dash no mind it's also in the description box this is gift signing off pay us no mind Peace.